what's up y'all we are gonna take a look at a eb1000 dexter double cylinder deadbolt it is heavy it's heavy it looks like it looks like an lsda y'all wow that is that is an lsda huh interesting made in taiwan cw0619 uh of course schlage keyway okay. oh they got everything taped together nice and cute look at that uh, yeah most of the time you're gonna be putting these in like a maybe a wood door with a metal frame or whatever the case is but uh, you probably won't be using some of this stuff very rarely do you but uh yeah this is definitely an lsda style latch for sure let me get an lsda lock because so <laughs> uh, an interior lip security stripe plate so dexter hold on let me grab one back in the day residential when dexter was just residential they came with this lipped strike plate and you had to cut an oval style hole instead of just a round hole which most of the time you're going to do anyway especially if you're putting in a dust box which is very uncommon but yeah that's how dexter used to send all their residential deadbolts and now that's a security strike version of that with the three inch screws and then the cover plate which let's take a look at this cover plate Oh, oops, sorry. Sorry, didn't mean to bend you for a video. Okay, go back normal. Very, very good idea to use your security plate there. Uh, but definitely LSDA style, LSDA does not have this big gap. What's up with that? That's the back of the bolt, y'all. I would... Let me get an LSDA deadbolt, we'll compare them. Alright, so here's an LSDA grade 2 single cylinder deadbolt. And uh, this used to come like this on LSDA. Oh, look at this. Wait a minute. That looks identical. Huh. Interesting. That's very interesting, y'all. That looks like it comes out of the same factory. But this one's heavier on the Dexter. That's that's how LSDAs used to come. A few years ago, they changed it to this lighter weight kind of aluminum or cask, whatever that is. So the Dexter's still specking the heavier duty, but it's identical. It has the same type of plate. This one's more gold color. This one's metal color. That's minor difference, but functionally they're all identical to each other now lsda's does come instead of having that lip security plate lsda comes with just the that style or this style you use either or in this case and still just to point out it bends it bends but but in this case it's not an either or thing if if you're using one i mean this is a little too flexible to use by itself. So if you're putting this on a wood frame, you definitely need to, to deal with the high security strike. But here's the LSDA latch compared to that. And as I mentioned, it doesn't have that cutout. Oh, and also this one goes do do do, And LSDA's goes all the way around. So it looks like it comes from the same factory, but it's a different style of latch, isn't it? And there's no open cutout. I'm not sure why they left this open. It doesn't seem like that makes a whole lot of sense to me. You know, like why, why have that big open cutout right there? That doesn't, where you can see the, maybe it's just a, so you can see what goes on when you throw a tackle. I don't know, that doesn't make sense, but here we go, it's the exact same style for sure of latch. Interesting, interesting. Anyway, so now we know more about the Dexter brand. Uh, 
we're going to be dropping out these cylinders and using a rustling keyway for this one. So let's go ahead and drop these cylinders. And what, what I almost always do is take the tail pieces off of the backs of the cylinders because uh, while replacement key and knob cylinders come with a bag and come with little tail pieces that would work for it if you have cylinders already there that's designed for the lock, you most likely are gonna to wanna to try to reuse those. So that's what we're gonna do is take these cylinders out, take these cams, and uh, uh, probably just these. You always kinda of wanna keep, because this cylinder's not gonna be made the same as a GMS style cylinder. So you wanna to try to just use the cam without using the replacement cap or pin because those caps and pins sometimes are kind of specific to cylinders. I went ahead and replaced these with the cap nuts here that I was talking about. These came off with that. However, these guys are a little bit thicker, right? So what happens is when you tighten it down all the way, number one, there's still a little bit of a gap there. And number two, this doesn't rotate freely. See how rigid that is? So to make it turn freely, you'd have to back it off a little bit, all right? It still doesn't really work right. It's still real tight. The only way to get it to work right is back it way off. And of course then it's too loose. So we actually do have to use the thicker, deeper caps, all right, that came on these cylinders, which is, where are they? What did I do with them? Where did they go? Here they are. These came with that. So number one, what we're going to do is take out the pins, all right? Drop the springs. We're gonna bring these cylinders over. Check out the springs there, there. Let's see, that's about right. So what happens is sometimes that pin doesn't really match the teeth of the cap. So what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna use this regular spring, plus the hole depths are drilled different. That's why these springs are longer. All right, let's put that back over there and grab this pin, put it in here. Now, if for some reason this pin was a bigger diameter, which it could be, could be. All right, it is, it's bigger diameter, so that is not gonna work. We're just gonna go with the original pin and hope it works. There we go, let's put this on, deeper cap. And we'll see if it works okay. This is one of the problems you run into switching out cylinders. I screwed all the way down, still loose. Let me check the key. Okay, I did screw it all the way down, so the key is just a little tight. It's rubbing right there. So if we just come back here and back it off a notch or two, that will free it up. It's still a little tight. Okay. There we go, and then we're just gonna take that out, make sure the key pulls out correctly. Just like one. Make sure it engages there. Okay, that's it. So using the duped, let's get this, let's get this, let's drop that there. Let's uh, find our spring right 
here. Nope, get in there. And uh, after it's keyed up, it's the installer's problem since they're not installing, and since they're not paying me to install it, right? As long as the cylinders work, it is their problem getting them to match up. Tough to do sometimes with these short little cams because when you're holding a cylinder like this, see it drops, like gravity pulls it down. So, uh, yeah, let's make sure, especially even when you're trying to do that, see how gravity makes it drop down. It's one of the problems with these guys, especially when you're talking about double cylinders, dealing with getting this into the two spots where it's supposed to go. So once again, not my problem because I'm not putting it in. Cylinders work. That's all I'm worried about. 